Hello everyone and welcome back to another review. Thank you all very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Jean-Paul Gaultier and this one is called Classique Essence de Parfum, so stay tuned. Now, Classique Essence de Parfum was released in late 2016. The original Classique came out in 1993, if I'm not mistaken. The perfumer for that one was Jacques Cavalier, and I know that that fragrance has a lot of orange blossom. The perfumer for this one, however, has changed, just like with a lot of the men's fragrances. The perfumer for this one is Daphne Bugi, and I like her work. She actually made one of my favorite fragrances of all time, which is Bergamot 22 by Le Labo, and uh, this one, is actually a fragrance that is an homage to the original or the predecessor. And I love that they enlisted the help of Daphne Bugi, who has so much experience, uh, has worked with so many companies like Isimiyaki and Kenzo, has a really nice repertoire under her metaphorical belt. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about this fragrance, which is a little bit sweeter and it's a bit stronger than the original. But let's start things off by taking a look at the presentation. So here we have the cylindrical container in which the bottle comes, very reminiscent to the male counterpart, but also to the original Classique. It does open up at the bottom here, and it has a nice little podium on which the bottle rests. Nothing going on at the back, and then nothing going on at the top either. Now, taking a look at the bottle, you have this very sort of statuesque bottle, very similar to the original with a more chiseled appearance. You do have a Jean-Paul Gaultier stopper here at the top, it's a pin, you remove it. The distribution on this one is really wide, so it covers a large surface area. And then you have your information at the bottom, which should coincide with the one found on the container. And that was the presentation for Classique Essence de Parfum. Now, just like the original Classique, this one does have the note of orange blossom. So it starts off with this rather floral and citrusy overtone, and that does last throughout the entire duration of the scent. Now, what the floral component does is it makes it feminine. So opposed to the masculine counterparts, which have notes like cardamom and some other sweet notes. I know vanilla is also used in a lot of Lamal fragrances. This one also has vanilla, but it also has a resin in the base called benzoin. Now, benzoin has a medicinal quality about it. It's a little bit smoky, and it has a vanillic overtone to it. Now it is resinous, so it does come off a little sappy. And what I think it does is it makes this fragrance full bodied as opposed to the actual uh, miniature statuesque body of the bottle, pardon the pun. But with this fragrance in particular, yes, you do have that orange blossom. It is going to be sweet, but it's not overly sweet to the point that it crosses gourmand territory, despite the fact that when you look on the note breakdown, it has a note of whipped cream. Now I'm gonna call it an accord. I really don't know what how they distill the essence of whipped cream. So it's probably this sort of ethyl maltal note that's used in a lot of other fragrances. I know Angel by Thierry Mugler also has this caramel sweet whipped cream sort of a vibe going on in there. And that's probably the only fragrance that I can compare this one to right off the top of my head. What I like about it is that it has familiar elements of the original, so it is floral and it is citrusy in the same way. However, it's more dense, it's richer, and it's full-bodied and it's more complex. It's not like a compressed sort of scent, but it's expansive and it also has a lot going on in there and uh, it, it certainly leaves the wearer intrigued as well as those around him or her. And uh, I think it's a really complex fragrance. I love what they did in combining the floral, the citrusy, but also the gourmand nuances and that it's not overwhelming or overbearing. It is a flirty scent and it's also a little bit stronger than its predecessor, dare I say. So if you're gonna wear this one, this is a perfect scent for a night out. If you're going to dinner with friends, if you're going on a date, if you're going to a party, a club, if you're gonna hit up the bar scene, what have you. I think this is a great scent for that. This is great to wear with like a mini skirt or a really nice dress, something that would perfectly fit the occasion. Of course, keeping the weather in mind and everything, this is suited better towards the colder weather, but uh, make of it what you will. These are just recommendations. At the end of the day, it's your opinion that counts. So definitely go out there and check it out. Let's go ahead and finish the review off by taking a look at my rating. First up, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell, and this is a unique scent in the sense that when you take a look at the original, this is a strong enough deviation from the original 
to warrant a purchase. It's not a carbon copy of the original, but it does things differently enough. I like that it's denser, it's richer, it's more complex, and it packs more of a punch. It has more of an oomph to it. Now, as far as longevity, it's been significantly increased. You're looking at eight plus hours. Projection is also really good for the first three hours. It really jumps up off your skin. So this is one fragrance that you can afford to spray conservatively as opposed to liberally, because it will get you noticed. Versatility on this one, I think it's geared more towards the colder weather. So I'm thinking fall and winter. This is one to wear at nighttime. And this is one to wear when you're really hitting a night out on the town. This isn't the type of fragrance that I would wear when I'm lounging around the house or going grocery shopping. But again, at the end of the day, these are just recommendations. Last up, we have the presentation. And I like the presentation. It's an homage to the original with a more chiseled appearance. And if I had to give this fragrance an overall score, I would give this one a four out of five. The reason I give it a four out of five is because yes, it does smell very similar to the original, which I love. I am a fan of Orange Blossom, which was is also why I love Fleur du Mal, which is a Francis Kirkjian composition under the same house. But with this fragrance, I wish there was the inclusion of some weird note, something really out of the blue, really out of left field to sort of offset the other notes in there. But other than that, I think the composition, the way that it's blended and pieced together is done very artfully and in a very skillful sort of a way. And I think the perfumer did a wonderful job with this one, so way to go. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That was my review of Classique Essence de Parfum by Jean-Paul Gaultier. If you have any experience with this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Remember, I smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone.